Hey guys, Agent Number 8 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. Last time, we kind of disrupted the wedding between Seymour and Yuna, and then Yuna jumped off a cliff. Well, she jumped off and saved by our amazing serpent with wings, but now we've escaped down to the Bavel Cloister of Trials, because obviously Yuna's got to do a job as a summoner, so let's march right on in. I'm already dreading this trial, guys, I'm just telling you that now. Not so much for its difficulty, but uh, it's just so awkward. But, uh, yeah, first thing we do, push in our nice little pedestal. And this will uh, transport us into the trial. Now, what this trial basically is, you're on an automatic moving pedestal. And you have to manually stop the pedestal. Now, if you look over here, I mean, if you just look above where Tidus is there, there's a lot of flashing arrows, which we'll come to in a second, but basically you get to choose what way you want to go. So I've got to stop it in a certain direction, which I want to do there. You've got to basically match, match? You've got to basically mash X as much as you possibly can. So this is only going to allow us to go into one direction. So we need to go down the hill here. But yeah, I mean, it's, if you don't know what you're doing, it's really complicated. But, I mean, I've even done a few practice tries of this, and even still, I can't get my head around it, so. But we need to take this Bavel Sphere, and put this back into our pedestal. So that means we have two spheres. So we'll push this back the way we came, and basically, start from where we began when we first got the Cloister of Trials. So, we'll follow this up. With a nice little face shot of Tidus there. But yeah, the AO we get for this one, guys, completely worth it. And you will see soon enough. But let's make our way back up to the top here. So now, we want to go... Not that way, damn it! See, this is the problem you have with this Cloister of Trial. I wanted to go the opposite one, but the arrows move so fast, you don't get a chance to stop it where you want to stop it. So, let's try it again. So now we need to turn around. And we need to go to the left. So, let's time this right. Got it. Now, you could have grabbed the sphere from the opposite side if you wanted to, but, well, I thought I'd save myself just a little bit of time. We'll grab that sphere after we put this in here, so, if we put one of the spheres into here, that road we just went down opens up a new path, which is what we'll be going down shortly. So now, we need to grab that blue sphere, that Bavel sphere, from where it was before. So we need to turn around. And now we need to go to the right. So let's time this right. There we go. You've got to time it really perfect. Otherwise you'll end up going basically where you don't want to go. So let's grab the sphere here. As I said before, this uh, cloister of trials really can spin you out. And I remember the first time I did it. Back when the game first came out, it, it took me a very long time to clear this. So, yep, yeah, we'll put that in there. We'll do a little turnaround, as we've been doing before. And now, instead of going to the left and the right, we want to go to the left on this second panel here. Here. Yeah. Now, this is going to take us down to where we were before, where we went up and we got the first Bavel Sphere. But now, we have the option of going to the left here. Which is what we'll do. Now, we want to go to the very end of this one. Okay, so... Mash X. There we go. If you do fall off the edge, it just teleports you back to the start there. So, no big deal with it, really. Okay, so we want to put one of our Bavel spheres... 
into the recess here. Now this will open up a path which we can walk across. But we don't want to go into there yet because it's not actually a Bavel sphere that unlocks that particular uh, lock, if you want to call it that. So as we're going to see here, it's going to push us off a cliff and we die. Nope, we just get teleported to the start again. So, so now you want to go to, I think, it's the second one. But we shall soon find out. Oh, see, that's what happens if you miss it. <laughs> I'm mashing X, but the way the arrows go up and across, it's near impossible to control. So we'll try it again. Let's do it again. Okay, so, mash X. See, you can't do it. It's impossible. You can't... It, I don't know how they expect you to do it. Right. I know how I'm going to do this. Right, we'll go up this one. And then we'll come back on ourselves. We're not meant to come up here till later on. But seeing as the game deliberately wants to fuck us over... We will screw it in its own way. So, we'll come back the way we came. And I'm hoping it's actually going to slow down the panel. Or the pedestal there. Yes, okay. There we go. Screw you, game. I'll wake up my own way of getting to my glyph sphere. Okay. So now, we need to grab the glyph sphere. That's in here. And put it into our little pedestal. And now, we need to put that glyph sphere into where we created that path, right on the very end there. So we shall do that if the game will allow us to. Yes, okay. I thought I missed it then, but no, we did all right. So now, because we have our Glyph Sphere, we can unlock our new Destruction Sphere. If Tita can put it in, there we go. Now, with this Destruction Sphere, we basically need to put it where the Glyph Sphere was. So, yeah, pretty much the Glyph Sphere and the Destruction Sphere need to be swapped around. And that will unlock the next part. Of the Cloister of Trials. Although, to be fair, this, this part here is mainly the the, uh, the complicated part, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to be pushed off a cliff and die. And now we need to get back to a really impossible place again. Let's see if I can do it first time. Okay, so we're going to come up to it. I'm going to pass the first one and go for the second one. So, mash X. No! Oh, shit, I pressed at the wrong place. Okay, it don't matter. We can slow it down, anyway. Oh, and now you see why I hate this Cloister of Trials. It's not through the lack of difficulty, because I know where to put everything. It's just the pain in the ass of putting the spheres in the right places, getting the pedestal to stop in the right places. Imagine the first time person playing this game, and they didn't know what to do. Like me, the first time I played it. It's near impossible. How the fuck are you meant to know everything about this? Okay, so now we put our newly acquired destruction sphere where we got the glyph sphere. And that, once it does it, unlocks that ramp going up there. And that's where we need to exit. So, yep, yeah, where we used to, that little pedestal, or not pedestal, but that little crossway we used to stop and slow down. That's where we need to go now, but before we do that, we need to get that Bavel Sphere back from its little hole there. That unlock the path to the uh, original Glyph Sphere, or sorry, the Destruction Sphere. So we need to get this back, and it's very important we get this back, because we want to get an extra treasure. So, now... Okay, so we got the two back in there. And now we can start to make our way out of here. So let's put this pedestal back in its place. 
Uh, we get pushed off a cliff again. So now we need to be on the first little crossway there. Oh, no, not left. Oh, see? Pain in the ass. Game! Now it's going to take us up here. Which we don't even want to go. So let's turn around. Screw you, game. You just want me to stay in this cloister of trials forever. Right, so now we need to go left at the intersection here. Okay, and we need to go the first intersection here. There we go. If you don't know what you're doing, it can really spin you out. I mean, it spins me out just fucking thinking about it. Right, so instead of going backwards, we need to push it ahead of us. And this, because of our destruction sphere, unlocks a new road for us to go up. If you tried coming up here before, it would just turn you around and send you back the way you came because you haven't unlocked this new path up here. So now that we've done that, we've done the hard bit. So that's all good. So we go up the stairs and we need to get this treasure here, which is a HP sphere. And we complete the Cloister of Trials. Now, as I've been saying throughout the other Cloister of Trials, you need to get the secret treasure of every Cloister of Trials. Well, the HP Sphere is the secret treasure, so you can't miss it. It's impossible to miss because you need to open it to unlock or finish the Cloister of Trials. But before we leave, we'll use one of our Bevel Spheres to put in the little recess here. And this unlocks this treasure. Now, you need to have two Bevel spheres for this to work because if you only have one, it will not allow you to push the pedestal into the track. So, muchos important to make sure you get that other sphere. So, now because we get that extra sphere, we get a Night Lance for Kimari. And I'm going to show it off to you now once I get control back of T this year. Because if I can get to my menu, it's a very good weapon. Strength plus 18%. I'm not going to use it. And the only reason I'm not going to use it is because it doesn't have piercing on the weapon. Like this weapon does here. So really, for a 8% increase in strength, I'd lose the piercing. So all the armored enemies would have less damage. And I'd lose the sensor as well. So, like I say, I'm not going to use it. But it's a pretty good weapon to have for Kimari. So, yep, yeah, we've done that one, guys. And to be honest, I think that's pretty much it for the Cloister of Trials. We've done them all. They're all done. Yuna? Christ, you, Tina, did your voice Sorry, break? Baby. Then what are we standing here for? Let's just barge in. Uh, come on, Tina's muscles. Uh, uh, oh, come on, Tina's. Hey. Uh, you can stuff your taboos. <laughs> Screw your taboos. I'm going in. Oh, well, to be fair, Kamari has a lot more muscles than Tidus does, so. I think it's Kamari doing all the work there, guys. Good man, Kamari. Let's go. Yuna? Are you dead? I hope not. Oh, no, she's alive. Oh, look at the faith. We recognize him. Oh, okay. What's that? A faith. Oh, look at Oren barging in as well. Summoner. Who invited you, Oren? Oh, okay. Their human souls imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. Trapped the forever. Should be allowed to rest. Aren't the dead already resting? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, they've just taken over Yuna's body. Yuna. Are you alright, Uni? Uni, wake up! Oh, it's okay. She's resting. She's alive. That's all we care about. We've got our new Aeon. Let's break out of here. Let's do it. Wait! Don't come out! Well, what do you mean, don't come out? Who's there? That looks fine to me. Yeah, there's the party. Oh shit, and a load of guards. The last of them. You are to stand trial. Trial? What for? <laughs> Why do you run to me do a flip? It will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Oh, I bet it will. Because, you know, Yevon's all about fairness. We, we've worked that out. But yeah, the ale we get here, guys, is Bahamut. Or Bahamut, or however you pronounce it. I say Bahamut myself, and that's probably the way I'm going to stick to it. But yep, the King of Dragons, Bahamut. And he is a monster of an Aeon. So yep, we got him. He won't be as good as Serpent with Wings, but, you know, he'd be a good backup for him anyway. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. Whoa, we actually are in court and we are on trial. Fucking hell. The sacred officers of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. I object! Objection! To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Well, then we got a lot of time on our hands here. Because I got a lot to say. Summoner Yuna. Hello. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon. True. I object. I never said anything. Objection! Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour. Dire injury? I killed him. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. After you attacked the Albed home? These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Well, you starred it, so... Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Well, where do we start? Your Grace. Seymour killed his dad. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. Then they kidnapped Yuna. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. There we are. What is this? See, I told you, Kelk. I told you. Hmm? Hadn't you heard? <laughs> Not only he just, that, like, rubs it off as if it's nothing, like, you know? Maester Seymour is already dead. He is dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Good point, Lulu. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. So let's just send him now and get this trial over and done with. Grand Maester Micah. Please send Seymour now. Come on, Micah. Send the unsent to where they belong. You're the wise ruler of Yavin. You should know the rules. Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't like laughing. Mister? Laughing's not good. The dead. Hmm? Well, that's the plan. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, oh, come on. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. 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 You would have to send me. I know you're old, but Jesus Christ. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. Yeah, but it's so crooked, it is unreal. Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. And everyone just seems to have accepted Life this. Is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. But I am still alive. Aha! The power of death truly commands in spirit. And you just accepting this? Resisting its power is futile. But. What of sin? Yeah, you know the big giant whale we're all trying to stop killing people? I am a summoner, my lord. Like my father before. 
before me. Go on, Uni. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Exactly. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? Ooh, lay the smack down on him. Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? Well? Not in vain. Well, at least he understands no that. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Well, why are we sacrificing ourselves then? Cannot be stopped. Uh, you, it would be nice the for you to tell us this. Of those who fight gives the people hope. Yeah, they were like, oh, if we atone for our actions, There's sin will disappear. In the life and death of a summoner. And Mike is just like, nope, he's going to reborn over and over again. Never futile, but never ending. Exactly. Indeed, I think we should think of another way of beating Sin, guys. Fuck Yevon. Oh, Yevon is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity. An unchanging death as well. No. That can't be right. It's not right, you know, it's fucking crooked. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Oh, great. Lord Micah. Are you serious? So basically, sin can never be defeated, and if you don't agree with that, then you are traitors. Yevon logic. Get me out of here! I want out now! Fucking hell. You hear me? We've been trying all game to beat sin, go with all the temples, and they're just crooked! This is not a religion, this is a cult. I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. Yeah, she will. I mean, She'll she kissed Seymour, it. and she's still alive, so, you know. What? So she can die? I just realized, Yuna kissed a dead person. <sighs> Ew. Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's true. The spiral of death. death. Death everywhere, but not a lot to drink. Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are yep. unsent. Yep, a lot of death in Spira. Is full of death. The Spira shock game. Only Have a shot every time they mention and death. Only to bring more death. You'll be hammered in ten minutes. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. Death, death, death. <sighs> Everybody likes saying death. Oh god. Out. Your sentence has been decided. Oh good. Can we walk free? Sentence. With a pardon? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now. What person would execute a dear friend? Oh, uh, well, I know somebody. You would. Yeah, so I'm thinking of the same person, Lord. I know of a certain Yevon Meister that would do that, and he's standing right opposite me. And he's fat, and he's bald, and he doesn't look like anything what he did ten years ago. Why are you pushing me into water? I can swim! I'm a Blitzball player! Looks like you're next. Worst execution ever. Next for what? <laughs> yeah, you Blitzball player, you'll drown to death. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. Oh, well, thanks for the optimism, guys. So, yep, everybody drowns to death. Oh, Ooh, no, we're alive. You made it. Oh, yeah. I know, guys. Let's send the three people that can swim our sentence? into the water. Think they expect us Brilliant. To up and die down here. Yeah, but they're crooked and they can't even get a proper That's punishment a going. Kill someone. Yeah. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. 
Well, hmm. nobody waits on this game. Let's wait at the exit. Yeah, screw here. We'll there wait for it at the end. Oh, there's got to be a way out here somewhere. Because, you know, you haven't really that stupid. They probably would design an exit. How fares the Ronso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. Well, to be honest, it would trouble most people, Seymour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ever the Ronso. Hard-headed. Hardly useful. Fucking hell. They'd even conspire However, against themselves. The summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. Oh, what are you planning, Seymour? She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. You fear she kill your no dad, and now you want to keep your wife alive. alive. What are you planning? Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Yeah, because your sentences are shit. At the exit kill any who emerge. So there Sir, is an exit. Leave that to me. Oh, first your father, now your bride. Ha <laughs> ha Allow me to do this. My name's Seymour. I like around. killing people. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust. I think it's a bit, you know, guard duty is a bit underwhelming for maesters, don't you think? Very well, as you wish. Come on, Keenock. Maester Brothers for life. Nothing will ever separate them. Me. Ooh. I wonder who that is. Oh, and Uni's alive. Oh, and we're up to the condemned. So, yep. I think this will be a great time to end the episode. So, yep. Thanks very much for watching this one, guys. We've been chucked into prison in the lamest sentence that Yevon could have ever given us. They could have killed us, but they decide, nope, we'll chuck them. Well, we'll chuck the three swimmers into water because, you know, they'll never survive that. And it seems that we've only got uni at the moment. So, yep. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And hopefully we can try and escape in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. This is agent number eight. Cheers for watching, guys. And hopefully catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Laters. Hey, guys. Keep up to date with everything involved with the channel on Twitter at agent number eight LP. Objection!